Windows operating system. Now, statistically speaking, most of you are using a Mac right now, at least slightly more of you. Even though most videos I post on this channel are Mac related, there are still 200,000 random people from Windows. And that makes sense because also statistically speaking, a lot more people in the world use Windows, 72.52%, compared to Mac OS, 15%. And Windows has a lot of good things going for it. For example, if you have multiple windows of the same app open, you can hover over them in the taskbar and see the actual previews. On macOS, this is not going to happen. You can easily snap windows to the edges of your screen and do this. You don't have that on macOS without third-party software. Now with that said, there are also a bunch of annoyances. For example, the search bar. It never finds what you're looking for. And on macOS, it's as easy as hitting command space and you can find any file or application deep inside your file system. Or I can do things like preview images with the space bar or right click, go to quick actions and convert them to a different size. If I choose large, it's going to be 720p instead of the original 5k resolution. And if I preview both of them, one is 720p and the other one is 5k. So those are some convenient things that you can do on macOS that you can't on Windows by default. However, this video wouldn't be so long if you actually couldn't be able to do those things. So ladies and mental gen, in this video, I want to show you how to do all of that stuff and more with Windows. There's only one requirement though. Oh. Power Toys. Now, for those of you who don't know, Power Toys is an app developed by Microsoft that adds a bunch of nifty features, those similar to macOS, into Windows. You can download it through the Microsoft Store, which is probably the easiest option, or go into your browser of choice and look for Power Toys. And it should be the first link from Microsoft. Down here, select Install Power Toys. And if you scroll down, you'll see Install Power Toys once again. This will take you to a GitHub page, and here you can choose the version of your Power Toys. Once the installer downloads, it's as simple as extracting it and clicking next all the way through until it finishes installing. So what does this app allow us to do? Well, there's a crap ton of useful features that now I'm going to go over. So once it's installed, open Power Toys. And if you don't see any pop-up, it will live here in your taskbar. You can move it out so you can see it better and double click to open. Now there is a lot to cover here. On the left, you can see all of the features that it adds to Windows and you can disable or enable each feature depending if you use it or not. Beautiful. Now, now, there are a lot of things here, so I'm going to skip over the ones that I don't typically use. Stop. I hope you're enjoying your day, but I have to interrupt to tell you about a quick sponsor. It's the Rec Expert Screen Recorder from Ease US that's available for both Mac and Windows. It can record your computer audio as well as your microphone or webcam, set it up to capture a portion of your screen or record multiple displays. In the settings, you can configure the output quality and FPS and also highlight your mouse cursor. Once you're done, the output file will be saved to your videos folder. You can use it to record gameplay footage, online meetings, tutorials, YouTube videos, you know. You can click the link in the description to download it today. Thanks to EaseUS for sponsoring this section of the video. And back to Power Toys. So let's start from the top. Always on top. Always on top is a quick and easy way to pin Windows on top. You can enable it here and you can see the activation shortcut. Windows Control T. So say I have a calculator open and I'm doing my taxes and I want the calculator window to always stay on top. I will hit Windows Control T, which will highlight this in blue. And now no matter what kind of window is underneath here, I can have an Excel sheet, a browser, my calculator will always stay on top no matter what I do with other windows. To disable this, hit the shortcut once again, or just close the calculator app. Next time you open it, it will behave the same way. Beautiful. Next we have Awake. This will keep your computer awake if you tell it to, which is useful if you're exporting things or transferring files to a hard drive. And you know that your computer will probably fall asleep during that time and ruin your entire process. So I can come here into my taskbar, right click on the keeping awake, choose keep awake indefinitely, and now my computer will not go to sleep. To disable this, I can right click and off. The color picker is really useful if you use Photoshop. The shortcut is Windows Shift C. And if I click on that, you can see that right next to my mouse cursor, I can pick different colors. So if I'm drawing some artwork in Microsoft Paint, I can quickly copy the hex code of this color, go into Paint, paste that color in here and draw a masterpiece. Now one setting that I like to change here is the activation behavior. Every time that I pick a color, I don't want it to open this window. I would rather just have this hex code copied 
feed straight into my clipboard. And I can select this and choose only pick a color. So now if I pick a color like this green over here, it immediately copies it into my clipboard and I can paste it with Control V and start painting with it once again. And let's jump straight into fancy zones. Now window management on Windows is pretty fast on its own. You can drag windows to the edges of your screen and they snap into place. However, you can make it even faster with this feature. I use it all the time. Now speaking of the Windows snapping feature, there are a few things in the Windows settings that I disabled for this as well. So Windows I to get to settings and then under system choose multitasking and here you'll find snap windows behavior. I can expand this and these are the settings that I use. I disable when I snap windows to so just what I can snap next to it. If this is enabled every time I snap something it will give me another option to snap something else right next to it, which is annoying. I disable show snap layouts when I hover over a windows maximize button because I never use this and it takes a while for it to pop up and also I disable show snap layouts when I drag a window on top of my screen. This feature I almost always never use because it's a lot slower than just snapping a window with keyboard shortcuts, windows right or windows left or windows up and windows down. It's a lot faster to do it with keyboard shortcuts compared to doing it with this thing so I just disable it. Now with that said fancy zones take this to an absolute next level. So first off I always check use non-primary mouse button to toggle zone activation. This means that I can pick up a window and click my second mouse button while holding the first one of course and it will show me these zones where I can drag the window, release my mouse and it will snap there. This is so much faster than doing it the conventional way because you don't have to drag the window to the edge of your screen. I use this all the time for snapping windows. Now the snap layout for you might be slightly different and that's because I've customized mine to only have two zones, one on the left and one on the right because that's how I most often snap windows. But if you have an ultra wide big ass monitor, it doesn't make sense. So you can launch the layout editor which lets you create custom snap zones. For example, this is the one I created. I can click on the pen icon to edit my zones and if I click here, I will be able to split them apart and create four zones or I can split them vertically. So I can use fancy zones to snap like this and the windows default snapping to snap like this. But I prefer to have only two zones so I can come here and customize this once again and simply drag with my mouse across the zones that I want to merge. Now another setting that I I always check on is restore the original size of windows when unsnapping. So say my calculator was this size by default and then I snap it into place and drag it away, it will unsnap to its original position, which is something that windows does by default and I like this behavior. But to not stay here for an eternity, let's move on to another feature. Image resizer. It pretty much does what it says. The cool thing is that while on macOS you can't customize the custom resolutions, with power toys on windows you can. So if I want to delete the phone size, boink and it's gone. Or if I want YouTube thumbnail size, 1, 2, 80 by 720. And instead of fit, I'm going to go with stretch. So it's going to stretch any image to this resolution. We need some iconic picture. The Megamind. And this one is exactly perfect. So I can right click on it and... and... Show more options and resize with image resizer. Select my thumbnail, deselect this because it's not... Oh, activate Windows. So you know I'm a true Windows user. Anyway, let's resize this and boink looks like this. Beautiful. It stretched it out to thumbnail resolution. Oh, the Photos app also has a resize. Let's try 480p and minimum quality. Save. Before, after. <laughs> couldn't ask for anything more perfect. Let's enhance it even more. Let's do 80 pixels. Now it's perfect. So that's image resizer. Mouse utilities. This one is pretty useful if you do screen recordings. If I hit the control key twice, it will highlight my mouse. I forgot I had this enabled throughout the entire video, so I didn't use it. And there's also the mouse highlighter. You can toggle it on with Windows Shift H, and once you click, it will show you your mouse click. Of course, you can change its appearance and behavior, like I've done here. I made it purple. And then you can increase how big the circle is. So let's make it something absurd. Oh, now you can clearly see where I'm clicking. Oh, now. Can you see where I'm clicking now? Paste as 
plain text. When you copy something and you don't want the formatting to carry through, you can press Windows, Control, Alt, V, and it will paste without any formatting. Beautiful. Peak. This is a great feature that macOS has. Essentially, when you click space on macOS on any file, you can preview this file. It shows you the preview of it. Well, this is a folder and some information right next to it. If I have a video or a screenshot, I can just view it or play it with the spacebar. Of course, on Windows, this doesn't exist. So that's what Peak is for. If you have any sort of file, let's quickly create a nice drawing here. And then when you click on it, you can press control space and it will open inside of a preview. Now control space again, and it will close the preview. And when you hover over it with your mouse, it'll also tell you some information, except for resolution. If you want to see the image's resolution, just hover over the image with your mouse. You'll be able to see dimensions. Beautiful. Power rename lets you rename a bunch of files or folders at the same time. Well, never mind. Now, Power Toys Run is probably the feature that will change how you use your Windows machine forever. Windows search often sucks. We can all agree on that. It almost never finds things you're actually looking for. But on Mac, you click Command Space and it will find any app or folder across your entire drive if you want to. It even calculates things and does stuff like currency conversion. You don't even have to open up your browser. Also, a lot of people go as far as to Google things from this search bar. If I want to open YouTube, I can type in YouTube and it will open. So that's what Power Toys Run aims to achieve. It's a similar keyboard shortcut, Alt Space. It's Command Space on Mac. And if I click Alt Space, there's the search bar. It can calculate stuff, search for files and folders, search programs. If you put a dot, it will look for programs, so Firefox. So let's try and look for a file called One Teal Ball. And there it is. I click enter and it will open the file. If you want to go to the location of this file, click this folder icon or Control Shift E. I'll do Control Shift E and it will take me to my file explorer where this file is located. Beautiful. One other thing that you may have noticed it's able to do is when I typed in Firefox, it suggested not just the app, but to type in Firefox in my default browser. So essentially, if I type anything in here, for example, Shrek movies, I can click enter and it will search the web with my default browser for this search query. So enter and it opens Shrek movies. So instead of having to travel all this way into your taskbar to open a browser, you can hit alt space and look for something immediately. And for me, this single feature, the Power Toys Run, is worth the annoyance of going into the Microsoft App Store and installing power toys. It's such a great feature. Ever since I started using macOS and felt the effect of the search bar, I cannot stop using it even on Windows. This is one of the best ways to implement search and it's super convenient because it opens anywhere and I always do things like quick calculations, currency conversions, googling or opening files through this search bar. Alt space and you have access to your entire computer and the internet. Screen ruler, Windows Shift M, and it will bring up this toolbar over here. I can select the rectangle tool and it will tell me exactly how many pixels this is. This is one pixel. Look at how tiny it is. This is just horizontal measurement and this is just vertical measurement. The distance between these two balls is 320 pixels. Now you know that information. Text extractor. This is basically OCR. If you have an image with some text, I'm taking a screenshot here with the snipping tool. If you don't know, it's Windows Shift S on Windows and you can take a screenshot so here inside of this image, I can press Windows Shift T and it will bring up the OCR tool. If I select this text here, it will copy it to my clipboard. If I open Notepad, let's quickly ignore that, and Control V, it will paste that text in as text. So it can basically copy text from images or from anywhere on your screen that typically doesn't let you copy things. That's Power Toys. And what I do is go to General, scroll down, and run it at Startup. So that every time I start up Windows, Power Toys is already up and running inside of my taskbar. By the way, if you like how this wallpaper looks, it's from one of my wallpaper packs. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Oh, and there's one more feature I almost forgot to mention. Psych.